So here we are with the sit wrap before part three. And again, I'm going to keep this, try and keep this very, very quick. Um, down here, I suspect it's an AT gun in those foxholes. Tank destroyer, tank destroyer. And I know I've got two tank destroyers down this road. The AA gun is not knocked out. That's just one of the crew that survived. Um, we've got uh, enemy forces in the building here and here. Okay, so what am I going to do? Down here I've got my second in command team. And what I plan to do, because I'm not too sure about what's down here, and saying that, that looks like a sound contact there actually. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm pushing them into the edge of the woods here. And then I'm going to push them across the bridge and have them set up just along here. And then hopefully push into this area and see what is going on. Um, it's only, I think it's a four man team and they've only got rifles. So we'll see how that goes. As you are aware, my complaints about uh, this mortar team not working, um, it's my own fault because they've run out of high explosive and they're down to just uh, smoke shells. So for a little cover for these guys, I will be uh, laying down some smoke here. So what about the rest over here? Well, I'm going to take my um, number two section, I believe it was, um, that I've been using scouting forwards. They're going to push on up through the backyards and establish themselves, hopefully in that foxhole where the um, AA gun is. And as we gain um, a foothold, I want to spread out slightly and take the buildings. Now, the other thing I've decided to do is this team here, because they're split, this section is split into two parts. I'm going to leave where they are. I'm going to try and reform them. I quite like the fact that they've got visual. I quite like the fact that they've got visual of these guys here. So I'm going to leave them there. Now I've got uh, other troops coming along here. Excuse me, that I want to push up the road. Sorry, push up the behind the back of the buildings but I've decided to take one of those platoons and actually push them across the road and then I'm going to work my way up this side as well how that's going to work out I'm not too sure though you can't really see it on this side there is going to be a tank down here which will lay down some smoke in this position to try and give them cover whilst they move across so anyway that's the situation and that's the next stage of the plan everyone's moving on and what I'm going to do is actually concentrate whoops ah oh, here they go the uh, section that I've been using as a scouting team I seem to be struggling to get through the hedge. This pathing happens sometimes. Oh, looks like he's coming through now. 
Better late than never. Now we will continue following these guys just for the moment. Um, the second in command team are just moving up into position on that uh, little corner of the woods. So they've then got a rest for over a minute. Um, obviously you saw my complaints in the last video over what I perceived as a bug with the game but uh, as a lot of the times these things turn out it's my own fault rather than the game itself. But uh, I'm quite happy on... Oh no! Get to the wall! Get to the wall! It's the church tower. Got anyone else shooting at us? No, 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 no. As you can see, we're, we're coming under some sort of fire from somewhere. Now, I ordered the team here to run straight back in. I'm also shooting on the church spire there. Put my second in command team over on the right hand flank to do a longer pause. Oh, let's just watch these guys running back sorry running across the road so the smoke's nice and thick So this platoon is the one that's going to go on up on the right hand side of the road through the buildings. So over here on the right hand flank, you can see there's 10 seconds before the um, second in command team are going to start their run across. Over on the left flank uh, I'm sort of getting everybody rested up I'm moving a tank up into position on what I, I think is the building that's shooting down so hopefully that will be able to get some rounds into there and suppress or kill whatever is going on and we'll look at that uh, maybe the next turn or the turn after oh where'd that come from Got some explosions coming down there. Come on, come on, guys. So, yep, this was not a good idea. So, there are forces over here. I say there are forces over here, but I don't really know. Suffered one casualty, they're tired, so um, when they reach their uh, drop off point, I'm going to let them rest for several minutes. vehicle was just still the Daimler. So I've got my tank here that I've moved up. So it's going to lay down fire on that building where I've still got a faint contact. Ah! 
over here you can see we're starting to move through the hedgerows and uh, go forward up on the right hand side take this nice and easy I do have uh, Piat teams in the various platoons so I want to protect those as much as possible because I think that's my main force in terms of trying to take out the armour the enemy armour so under a little bit of uh, tank protective fire I'm going to try again with number two section to uh, get into that foxhole position. I've only got three men, but the way they space out, it's uh, causing me a problem there. So I've got number two section quickly positioning themselves over by the wall here, and uh, I'm starting to move up the rest of the platoon steadily. They come up against the wall and then. Um, maneuver into position around here. The other platoon at the back here. They're also starting to move on, going through to occupy the place that's just been um, left by the, this platoon. Over here, you can see we are starting to move forward here as well over on the right hand side of the road and they'll keep going forwards I've got a little bit of a danger here because this ah and there they go the mortar team decided to go the long wrong way round Uh, oh no, 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 oh. there's nothing I can do about it, that means the other teams are going to come through here as well, oh hell, Nightmare. Nightmare. Oh, there's... Oh, there's Germans in there. Oh, rats. Because I got a, a slight sighting on this tank here. I was moving my pit team up. They're going to get slaughtered now. Need to bring a tank up here, I think. Like lambs to the slaughter. Here they come. moving my Sherman Firefly up. Just got to 
hope there's no, no uh, Smartanic with a Panzer Shrek. He's been given a fast command initially, so he should get there pretty quickly. It's interesting, the uh, gun icon is now green as if it's uh, owned by my guys. Got across okay. Come on, come on, come on, get in there. At least get one shell in there. And there is someone with a Panzer Shrek. Okay, doing something really dodgy here. I've got a 30 second pause and shoot on the building. And then he's going to move forward and hopefully take out that tank. Hope, hope, hope. Goes. Shoot! Oh, thank goodness. But is he going to shoot? He's going to shoot back. Got him. I've got a reverse. I had a reverse just in case. There's someone in that building. At least I got rid of the first one. Shot at from that building over there, I think. Have to put some uh, fire onto that building. I've got him putting some fire in, but uh, he's got no high explosives. So I'm going to bring up a different tank. I need to go down here to try and uh, find and take out that other tank. I think it was quite a way down here. Then I can come round and take these two out, hopefully. My, my platoon on the right hand side of the road, uh, I've got them moving up a little bit more. I'm starting to lose a real lot of troops now. I mean, the, the two guys that I put into the foxholes, 
their casualties. So I really need to sort this out so that um, I can get, I think these guys across here so that hopefully they'll pick up the machine gun after applying medical aid. See my other tanks coming across. Got uh, fire. I haven't got fire directed. There's a still a dull sound contact for that building. Or do I? Do I still have a? Yes, I do. I have to turn that off. Getting a few more sound contacts down here, but uh, I mean, it could easily be the crew from this vehicle, but I sort of doubt it. See my tanks laying down a little bit of fire on this building now. Really need to clear these buildings just in case. I don't want to have uh, anyone shooting on me from behind. It's going to be a real pain in the neck to do. to go high up for a few moments. You can see my guys are moving up into position here on the right hand side. I want to come on to this hedgerow here, see if they can, maybe they're in the building or something. I'm not sure. I think I definitely need to assault this building here. need to stop that firing. It's going through the AP. So I'm moving up uh, again over here. I was going to put some men in this building, may maybe on the um, first floor, but uh, it looks like that tank destroyer might have some elevation on that, so I'm going to avoid that. I've lost enough men already. I just don't have the teams to be able to for me, safely assault this building. So, I'm pulling across my far left platoon, which is number four platoon. Didn't like the sound of that. That might be the uh, tank destroyer cooking off. Now, to avoid what happened, down here which was horrible. Um, although I'm positioning initially here that platoon, number four platoon, I'll have them running down here. I think that's fairly safe. As you can see I've still got an old sound contact down here. Ooh, I'm getting my guys shooting as well. Oh no, that, I think that's just um, ricochets. So I might put a few rounds into here as well but um, they'll go down the side here. I'm almost inclined to try and push some guys along on this left hand side see what they can see in these buildings and maybe try and occupy one or two. I see. Uh, 
Oh, mortifier. 